We begin tonight with an El Paso and taking action against El Paso City Representative Cassandra Hernandez, who represents part of the east side. And he filed an ethics complaint against her after an audit discovered irregularities with how much money was spent with her taxpayer funded gas card. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez is live at City Hall with his concerns. Rosemary. Well, Stephanie and Eric, District 3 constituent George Zavala told me it was critical for him to file this complaint. He claimed that the representative violated the city's ethic ordinance, and he made it clear today that she should be disciplined. We cannot trust our re uh, city representative. Then who can we trust? One El Pasoan is saying enough is enough. George Zavala is a District 3 constituent who is worried about who represents him. An audit revealed Hernandez's city issued gas card was used to pump nearly $6,700 of gas in 2022, a significantly higher number than any of the other representatives. And yet now you have city council members like Ms. Hernandez taking advantage of her authority, which is the fuel card, of her privileges and extending it to other people with no or was total disregard for her constituents. He calls her conduct unethical. Zavala also says he's impacted since he is a taxpayer. He says this will also affect those with limited income like himself. Do you think she abused her power as a city representative? Absolutely. How dare she do that? There's no problem spending money that crazy. You're paying for it. All of us here. He says Hernandez hasn't been upfront with them either. Her not willing to take ownership of the problem and apologize to me, our, the whole constituents of District 3 and the city, to say, you know what, I messed up, you know, whatever it takes, but she won't do that. Zavala submitted the complaint Friday afternoon. In it, he provided multiple exhibits, including the police report, the internal audit, and even our coverage from Thursday on ABC 7 at 10. In that, ABC7 obtained video of a man pumping gas into a Toyota Tacoma truck. A source close to that investigation says that was Hernandez's husband. What do you say to the taxpayers who are who are going to see this video later tonight? It's I would I would ask my constituents, call me. Let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to go to your home. Do you understand them. their concerns, though? I mean, when yeah, when they call me, and we have a conversation. I address it with them directly yeah. on the phone. She's never heard our concerns. So now was this clear violation? I just hope that we get a representative that can really represent us. Meanwhile, we asked the mayor about this complaint filed by an El Pasoan. It's important that we that the, the citizens know they have the right to voice their voice and their voice to be heard, and that's one way of doing it. And we take those complaints very serious, ethics complaints, and being that it's on an elected official, we'll get outside the uh, attorney to look at it and review it, and then it'll probably end up going to the Ethics Commission Board for a review. And Zavala hopes that by him filing this complaint that other constituents will do the same. Meanwhile, I reached out to Representative Hernandez for a comment I have still not heard back. I'm reporting live outside City Hall, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7.